is up my fellow beasts welcome back to another call of duty video today i am bringing you some modern warfare 2 gameplay because as you guys might know already uh, probably you do modern warfare is getting some modern warfare 2 content for season 2 that's why i'm bringing you guys this bad boy today and you know what it wasn't easy trying to just get some average gameplay because right now mw2 is infested with noob tubers i think that the game has more players online online now i think it got a little boost of players online because everyone has been talking about modern warfare 2 remastered everyone wants that game to happen i don't know what the hell these guys are waiting for and besides the noob tubers which are a pain in the butt it's pretty hard to play against them because those tanks are mini tactical nukes you also have to deal with disgusting hackers with god mode with aimbot and as if there wasn't enough they will also derank you when they get upset okay when you're able to i don't know somehow upset the hackers they will just derank you put you back to level one and it just you lose everything you lose your freaking guns you lose your emblems you you lose your kill streaks it is so disgusting oh my god i've been I've been, you know, just using the default UMP45 and playing with no kill tricks. Oh my god, man, it was so boring. But then I got my cheeky care package, you know, I got some AC-130s, some chopper gunners, some ammo crates. And you know what? I was able to have a little bit of fun. Even though this game is infested with hackers and noob tubers, you can still have fun. Which is something you cannot do in Modern Warfare. So, you know what? Back to Modern Warfare, ladies and gentlemen. So, Modern Warfare 2 content. For season two in modern warfare you know what on paper that sounds absolutely amazing it's a great great idea right because mv2 was cool everyone likes mv2 you know what this is just infinity war trying to get people back uh, trying to get people back to modern warfare because they know no one wants to play their game they want their game to run their way they don't care about what you say they're too busy playing world of tanks to care about what you're saying okay if they cared about their game if they cared about us they would listen to us give us a normal mini map give us a normal dead silence and just those two things just those two things a normal mini map normal dead silence would make the game so much better because you would actually be able to run around like a beast without having to worry about your footsteps being heard by a little jimmy camping in a corner a mile away with a claymore in front of him while mounted uh, on a corner with his M freaking 4, okay? That would make the game so much more fun. But no, they want this game to be some sort of Rainbow Six Siege wannabe, you know, with little Jimmy scamping and head glitching and leaning on walls, which is not fun. If you want to do that, you go play Rainbow Six Siege, which is absolutely fine, man. You know, if you want to... Call of Duty is about running and gunning like a headless chicken okay so anyways ladies and gentlemen let's talk about this new content that modern warfare is getting from modern warfare 2 don't you know what? don't get fooled by it don't get fooled by it they're just trying to bring you back they're using the mw2 remastered hype just to try to bring you back and most likely two things are gonna happen the content is the content is gonna suck and they're, you know they're gonna find a way to ruin it and uh, you're also most likely gonna have to buy some of this stuff so you know what it's not really good news i hope i'm wrong i hope i sh i have to shut my mouth swallow everything i'm saying and uh, give it to infinity ward but most likely that's not gonna happen so we're getting a new map we're getting the map rust from mv2 small map the smallest map i believe in modern warfare 2 yeah i I've never liked Rust, man. Rust, I'm traumatized, actually, with that map. In Modern Warfare 2, it was nothing but a noob tube fast, okay? It was a race to see who could get on top of the tower first and then spam as many noob tubes as possible. And once they could get their kill streaks, the Harriers, the Chopper Gunners, the AC-130s, oh, you were done. Because this map has pretty much no freaking cover so it was a nightmare and i refused to play it um i you know what i hate it but even though i don't like this map in mv2 i am looking forward to play it a couple of times in modern warfare just to see how they are gonna ruin it because there's so there's just so much they can ruin uh, on rust i mean look at shipment such a great example they changed the layout of the map 
They put spawns everywhere, even in the middle. And all they had to do was a simple copy-paste. They just had to copy-paste the game from Modern Warfare Remastered because that's like the closest one to Modern Warfare. Copy the layout, copy the spawns, give it new graphics, make it look different in terms of, you know, graphics, whatever. And that's it. But no, they ruined the map and the map is still that way because they haven't played the map yet. I mean, otherwise, I don't know what the hell is going on or they have to be completely dumb because the map is unplayable. We don't even know it's unplayable because the maps are disgusting. It's still the most fun map in the game. That's how bad the normal maps are. So in my opinion, they should just stop making new maps and they should just remaster as many maps as possible from Modern Warfare 2 and from Modern Warfare 3. Don't remaster maps from Call of Duty 4 because those I don't know man, those don't really work that well in Modern Warfare, but I mean you have High Rise for Modern Warfare 2, Favela, Skid Row, Scrapyard, which is already in Modern Warfare in the Spec Ops missions, I don't know what the hell they're waiting for to put that in the game, Terminal, without the noob tubes, can you imagine playing Terminal without the noob tubes, yeah we already did that back in Modern Warfare 3, but man that would be cool for Modern Warfare 3, you have Hard Hat, you have Dome, you have, you have Resistance, so many good maps you can bring back. Stop making new maps. Stop adding safe spaces. That's, I mean, I just, I'm like, how many doors are they gonna put on Rust? Because these guys, they have a thing for doors. I don't know what it is. I don't know what kind of weird fetish that is, but they just love to add doors. I am surprised Shipman doesn't have at least one freaking doors are they gonna change the layout of rust are they gonna add spawns on the tower is it not gonna have a tower is it gonna be underground <laughs> i don't know we're gonna have to wait and see how they are going to ruin the map rust and then we have two new weapons ladies and gentlemen one i don't even know the name the other one we already know that gun it is the godly UMP 45 that was in Modern Warfare 2, the gun I'm probably using on this gameplay. The question is, ladies and gentlemen, is it gonna be the godly, the Super Saiyan God UMP 45 from Modern Warfare 2, or is it gonna be the normal, the standard UMP 45 from Modern Warfare 3? Because in MLB 2, oh my god, you could snipe people with that thing, and in Modern Warfare 3, it was still good, you could still do well with it, but the PP90M1 and the MP7 were so, were so much better. You could still compete against those guns with the UMP45, but you had to sweat a little bit more, okay? It wasn't as easy. So, I don't know if the gun is gonna be as godly as it was back in MMV2, or if it's just gonna be, you know, a normal freaking SMG that no one will touch after all the hype is freaking gone and finally ladies and gentlemen the last thing the last bait they're throwing on season two to try to get us back to playing modern warfare is the character ghost honestly i could care less about characters about you know costumes whatever because i cannot see what i'm using when i'm playing i can just see my gun what's the point you can only see your character in the game lobby i'm not gonna spend any money on this stuff okay most likely, they're gonna put all this stuff besides the map because they're giving us the maps for free. Uh, most likely, the UMP45 and the Ghost character um, are going to be behind supply drops. But anyways, guys, yeah, it's pretty cool they're giving us Ghost because he's a very cool character from Modern Warfare 2. One of the most badass characters from um, a Call of Duty campaign. He has nothing to do with uh, Call of Duty Ghost. A lot of people thought that he was going, that Call of Duty Ghost was gonna tell you the story of Ghost from Modern Warfare 2. No, it, Ghost tells the story of other ghosts. There were more ghosts. I don't know if they were related to Ghost from uh, MW2, but uh, those guys were like him, also super badass. Yeah, he was a character from MW2, unfortunately he got betrayed by the snake by the rat known as General Shepard and uh, unfortunately my boy got shot and then I believe he got burned alive too. I don't know if he was still alive when he got burned but uh, I hope that, I hope he was not because poor guy man, he was a freaking like badass beast with that ghost mask. Oh my freaking god. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know your opinion in the comment section below. Are you gonna get fooled? by the bait they're throwing on season 2 or are you gonna go back because this is gonna be MW2 content in Modern Warfare are you super excited super duper cooper excited for it there's 
there's like a 90% chance the map rust is gonna be ruined and most likely even if it's still the same rust from MV2 all the nerds camping with the M4s mounted on head glitches every around every single corner also spamming claymores I mean it's probably not going to be fun but hey rust has to be better than pickle dickle it has to be better than Ramaza and Grasna Maze and all those disgusting maps that Modern Warfare has. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.